Here's an example of a DIY. So crazy it just might work. <laughs> this is our bathroom sink. And we have clips on the wall for it to hang on, but it has so much leverage it does not hang straight, so it needs to have legs. And the only way to attach legs is these holes. They've got no threading, they're just one inch holes. I've struggled to find something that would fit in them. And I bought these. These are handles for garden rakes because they've got this tapered tip at the top. So they'll fit in the hole and then just rest where they sit on the taper. So they should have a really secure fit there. And then I chiseled the bottom and fit in a three quarter inch plug so that's just a regular threaded three quarter inch plug fitting and then put a threaded flange on it for a foot and we will just see if that works <laughs> i hope it does getting this far in the book, which must mean we're getting close to being done. New book. No, no new book. <laughs> we just unwrapped the first piece of countertop that we'll install. It looks good. It came with this piece of paper that says that we have to seal it within 48 hours of taking the shrimp rack wrap off. So the clock is now ticking for us to cut a hole in it for the stove and fit it and seal it. So we'll get to it. Cutting out our countertop for where our stove is gonna go. major bird bath session going on this afternoon. Waiting for the polyurethane to set up on this countertop. And we're installing some lights. Deacon's got some sconces going. We got this crazy light in. Kitchen. Butcher block only comes in these standard sizes and the size for the bump out is like four inches too short so we just decided to put the sink on a stand instead and it actually turned out pretty cool the metal I think looks really good with the green and with the wood just made of pallet wood on the legs and then scrap steel track from building our lanai Leave a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So many dishes. We've got 
one of the countertops in and we have the countertop ceiling for in front of the bar window right here so we'll put that one in the next couple of days the sink stand needs some work we need to arrange how the faucet is going to come out etc hi everybody doing some electrical wiring here the main panel so far i got oh what's that two circuit branches done get a bed in the bath follows this goes through this breaker that's the hot to the breaker then through the neutral bus bar and the ground ground bar this giant wire goes to what you may remember as our grounding electrode this is coming in from our soon to be inverter in the solar shed and then the neutral that comes from that as well and then it's ground to the ground bus bar and then just have kitchen one and outdoor circuit to do after I finish up the lights and smoke detector and our main panel will be about ready to rock off to the solar shed and finishing that up then These are the finished countertops. That's the bar top window and we'll make a separate smaller countertop that just goes along that outside and covers the rough opening. And this is the counter for the stove. And we used this piece that came out of the middle of this countertop to make this tiny countertop, which worked out just beautifully so that we could take this standard size. We didn't have to cut this countertop at all and it perfectly spans this opening for the bar. <laughs> 